Hello everyone, I am Marcel Vilasa. I am here today to share good knowledge with you. Let's talk about Manage Allocation App. Manage Allocation is the process where you collect amount from a cost center, a central cost center, to multiple cost centers in order to have a closing activity in the cost controlling regarding overhead costs or indirect costs. So I'm going to share with you how to perform distribution and assessment. In this video, we are going to do the assessment. Take a look in the next videos. I will show you how to perform a distribution. I'm going to demonstrate here what's the difference between two methods. And uh, by a walkthrough from an application in Fiori Launchpad, we will understand all the steps regarding this important process in the closing activities. OK, before I go ahead, to walk through in ACP. Uh, let's see the manage allocation process in S4HANA. I'm going to talk about assessment or overhead allocation, as it is called in S4HANA. The sender is going to use secondary cost element, which is the assessment cost element, to make the transfer to receiver. So to allocate cost here from this scenario from the cost center 200, so we have three cost centers in receiver side, 100, 300, 400. So 1,500 amount is going to be transferred, but the transfer is made by the assessment account. So the 600,000 account is going to be credited in the sender side and debited in receiver side. So the, the main features in this process, the sender cost center will remain with the original amount posted to the cost element. Let's see right now the approach into distribution side. In distribution, we don't have an assessment cost element. We have the credit in sender side and debit in receiver side to allocate cost. So as we can see here, cost center 200 is credited and cost center 100, 300, 400 is debited at the same time we complete the distribution. So in this presentation, we are going to see the actual planet cost display. We are going to create an overhead allocation cycle, which is in segment, which is the assessment process. The assessment uh, uh, naming convention is changed to overhead allocation. Display line items within the applications after the cycle and segment run. Then we are going to display actual planet cost. Okay, right now we are in Fiori Launchpad. Let's gonna select here cost centers that play an actual report. Let's click go to display. Originally, we have the sender cost center here in this process for a non-operational cost center is 1710, the, the cost center 1710, 0200. This is the sender cost center. 7,500 is the amount to be allocated in two different cost centers. So let's click SAP logo, back to home, manage allocation app. In manage allocations, we click create, create a new cycle. We give the allocation cycle a name, I will put this acronym here in a sequential 001. The allocation contest, we got cost centers, margin analysis for COPA, and as well as profit center. Now we are gonna select cost center allocation. The allocation type can be distributions or overhead allocation. Overhead allocations is the same as assessment. Here in S4HANA, we, we have a rebranding here. So let's populate the common fields, ledger, validity fields. Uh, I put here the, the biggest interval of dates. I added a cycle description, assessment, or no operation cost center, for example, company code 1710. And actual plan, we can go ahead here to select actual allocation. We, we, we have the option as well to put the plan allocation right? If you take a look here, 
below actual plane field, we got plane category. If you have questions about what plane category is, check, take a look on my previous video and how to plan actual cost in s hana Then I am gonna explain you which is plan category. Let's click create here. Next screen, we are displaying the main screen for the assessment cycle. Uh, let's click here below the cycle. Keep in mind, cycle is the main group in the process. We can give a name for this group, a kind of a process like a no operational cost assessment. Below cycle, we got segments. And then segments is the, we, we, we can have more than one segment assigned to a same cycle. But in segments, we can go to describe which accounts and cost centers we are going to handle in this process. Let's click create here. I'll give the segment a name, a generic name, and uh, also a description. Uh, keep in mind the I'm using generic name only because I'm doing a test here. In your site, you can use your own process name in there, no problem. Uh, overhead location account, then I am using a secondary cost element, which is 9420, 20, 100, right? Then the current, same currency as the company code I have put here. And uh, sender rules, I'm using fixed amount and uh, receiving rules, fixed percentage. We can use as well as percentage in sender. But in this case, in my test, I'm gonna use free amount entering. So in the sender, uh, we are gonna add here the original cost center, which we have seen here in previous actual plan report, 1710-0200, single value, because I'm gonna enter only one sender cost center. In sender details, as I have mentioned at fixed amounts, I could put percentage here, I could add 100%, but instead I just added 7,500, the same amount we have displayed in previous report. Let's click receivers, let's click in plus icon. All right, here I'm gonna add as a receiver, a cost center. We can have the option to add a double BS element. Cost center is enough. Keep in mind here, we cannot add no interval cost center, which means I cannot add different cost center one by one. I can put single value, I can put an interval, or if I want to add non-sequential cost center here, we have to go back and, and access the Fior Launchpad group to create cost center group. Then we can use cost center group here in this point. In this moment, I'm in creating an interval. I'm gonna use uh, two cost centers in sequence. All right. Receiver basis. In the receiver rule, I added here a percentage. Uh, keep in mind, the percentage must reach maximum 100%. If you vary this amount, the system is not allowing to complete this task. Then we save here. Okay, after saving, let's have a check in the cycle just to check if we got any errors, no errors. Now we click run. And then we are sent to the run screen. Keep in mind as well, uh, this we got cycles, we got segments, and now we are gonna create a run. Run is also, uh, let's say, uh, a lower level of segment because we can set up this position for our closing activities. We can set up this cycle and this segment. And then in a monthly base, we can do multiple runs, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna do any test here. I'm gonna run productively, click run. My run is gonna be an execution run, just, just a, a test description, a journal entry type, I will keep CO. Uh, the fiscal period run is gonna be current, all right? Uh, you, can, you can defer this, but if you want to make a closing activity in a monthly base, you can keep going here and do in a monthly base. 
here my my run allocation is only only av available for the current month which is the july okay i'm ju just creating a run for one month i'll click okay after okay uh it take a little bit the time uh, to to let the system compiling the, the the stuffs and then we can click here to display completed run then we can click here in the last column uh the all the way right we got an arrow point right side then we click there to display details right now we are in allocation result a location result it says completed the status here is in green uh, no errors uh, in this process and then we got the allocation cycle here we got drill down if you want to go in the uh, the cycle screen and then see the the key features added in there the information in the selection fields and so on we got senders one receivers two in the sender stat we have here the cost center, center cost center and so on in receivers tab let's check here the amount received i have shared 50 percent for each each cost center and then uh, it's here total 7500 the good point here we can also check which journal entries has been created have been created here in accounting then if you click journal entry you can drill down until the document the accounting document this this is a good feature then we got message as well let's click sap logo to check the reports plan actual report here in plan actual report we are displaying uh the sender cost center 1710 0200 uh, i'm displaying here both cost elements which is the secondary cost element the cost element starting nine and then we got the travel expense cost element which is the original sender cost element because the assessment we have split the process and then i can i can have here uh, a traceability from the original amount in the right cost element which is 7500 and then in the secondary cost element the assessment cost element we got a credit 7500 let's take a look here in the receiver side all right in receiver side actually i'm displaying the three cost center involved the first row is the sender cost center then we got credit here and then both two cost centers 1710 1101 1710 12 we got 3750 for each one because 50 percent was added so the transfer was completed here thanks a lot for watching and uh here is my sap professional network please follow me if you are not following yet this is it for today next video i will show you how to create a distribution cycle in S4 HANA on premise, okay? Please, if you don't follow me in this channel, subscribe to the channel here, click to subscribe, click in the bell to receive notification for new videos, okay? And uh, follow me in my social medias, Instagram, LinkedIn as well. And uh, keep posted in the best content that I will share with you, okay? See you later.